this video I'm going to talk about how to use spray paint in clothes customization and what type of spray paint to choose for painting on clothes. And even though it sounds pretty simple, you're just buying some spray paint and you spray painting your clothes, but it's not that simple because actually there is no such spray paint or at least I couldn't find such spray paint which I can 100% recommend for painting on clothes. But I hope that the more uh, clothes customization become popular, the more brands will start thinking about producing some good quality textile spray paints. So in this video I'm going to talk about pros and cons of each type of spray paint which you can use on your clothes and I'm going to show you how to create cool designs with spray paints. I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion channel. And first type of spray paint which you can use uh, on clothes it's uh, a textile spray paint in a bottle with a pump. Mine is brand Art Deco, it's a Turkish brand and probably you can find it in Europe. Uh, but if you live in the United States, I know that brand Tuli produces such type of spray paint in such bottles with a pump. And such type of uh, spray paint for textile is just great. It doesn't affect fabric, it doesn't make it stiff, it doesn't fade after washing. Yeah, you can use it uh, when you work with stencils, but to write something or to draw something, of course, it's impossible. And the other type of spray paint which you can use on uh, clothes, it's um, a spray paint in cans. I have a textile spray paint of brand Marabou, it's a German brand, and it says that it's special for textile and uh, this paint is water resistant. And also I tried acrylic spray paint of brand Montana and I can say that both of these paints, textile spray paint and acrylic spray paint, they are absolutely the same. Uh, they both make a fabric stiff a bit and they both uh, fade after washing. They fade a bit, not so much, but they fade after washing. So I do not recommend them for stencil designs because if you want, for example, to create some deep black artwork using stencil, this deep black color will turn into a gray color after washing. But they are perfect for some details on the background. If you want to write something or draw some simple images, you know, to add a graffiti vibe to a design, uh, these spray paints are your only option. Uh, you know, if to put uh, this type of spray paint, textile spray paint, into this can, it will be a perfect textile spray paint, which you will be able to use in stencil customization, in freehand designs on clothes. But as there is no such option now, or at least I couldn't find, uh, if you want to create stencil designs, I recommend you to use textile spray paint. Uh, but if you want to draw something on your clothes, to write something on your clothes, of course you should use acrylic spray paint, but you should consider that it will fade. So don't use it uh, to create some main image or main design, but use it for a background. To write something on the background, to draw something on the background, and when it fades, as it is a background, it won't look bad. Well, now it's time to create a cool design on a t-shirt using this type of spray paint and this type of spray paint and let's go! And the inspiration of my design is Joker. I want to mix painting with fabric paint and using spray paint. And the main images I'm gonna paint with fabric paint and then spray paint I'm gonna use for the background. And actually first I was thinking uh, to create a stencil for Joker but then I decided that uh, it will be much easier for me and much faster to paint Joker with brush and fabric paint because making stencils takes a lot of time and effort. Um, so like if you want to create many many t-shirts, of course you should create a stencil, but as my t-shirt is going to be one of a kind, it's much easier for me, much faster to paint uh, complicated images with brush and fabric paint. But stencils are great for those who want, for example, to run a brand, a brand of hand-painted unique clothes. And then you can create, for example, 100 t-shirts with the same or similar design. You can create one stencil and then like use it uh, in every t-shirt. Or if you want, for example, to put your logo on each t-shirt, again, stencil will be a time saver. Actually, I have one stencil, but I'm gonna use it in a bit different way. I want to create a spray paint background around the cards, so this stencil was pretty easy to create. 
But first I want to try it on an old t-shirt to see how it will work, how it will look like. And I'm using a textile spray paint in a bottle with a pump. Well, I love the result, I think it looks very interesting, so I'm gonna keep it like that, just spray paint background and then symbols of cars, I'm gonna paint with fabric paint. So yeah, I'm creating main elements, main images with um, fabric paint which won't fade after washing and then spray paint I'm gonna use for the background. And after washing, when spray paint will fade, it won't look bad because it will look like it has to be like that because it's a background. <laughs> And now I'm gonna use spray paints in can uh, to add lettering uh, and I decided to use Montana acrylic spray paints. Uh, well, you know writing or painting something with spray paint is a bit scary, at least for me. Because it's like uh, not having much control over paint and I just feel that I don't have a right for mistake. <laughs> um, so yeah, if it's gonna be your first time of using spray paint, I recommend you to practice on some old t-shirt. And I decided to outline with fabric paint, ha ha ha, because I messed it up. And now you can see that black color fabric paint and black color spray paint have the same contrast. But after washing, uh, black color spray paint will fade a bit and it will turn into such dark gray color. But again, as this is a background, it won't look bad. <laughs> And I just want to add some small details. And I think it's finished. I love the result. But now it's time to wash it. I want to show you how it will look after washing. But first I'm gonna fix paints with an iron, uh, fabric paints which I used because I don't think that it's necessary to fix acrylic spray paint with an iron, but it's necessary for fabric paints. And let's wash it. Well, here is a t-shirt after washing, uh, probably it's not so noticeable now that spray paint has faded a bit uh, because t-shirt is wet, but you will notice it later, but it doesn't look bad as you can see. Once t-shirt is dry, I will show you before washing, after washing and you will see that acrylic spray paint faded a bit, textile spray paint didn't fade. Um, but the good news is that when I tested acrylic spray paints on old t-shirt, I washed that t-shirt many many times and acrylic spray paint fades just after first washing. I guess just some upper layer gets off, but then it won't fade anymore. My dog, whose name is Joker, <laughs> approved what I created in this video. <laughs> And he is always sleepy. Well, guys, now I'll show you the final result. But first, I ask for support for your likes and comments. If you are new here, subscribe for more painting on gloss videos. And here is my choker inspired hand painted t shirt. Mm -hmm.